Hey guys, welcome back again to another Tech Guru video. Today we are in the application iPhoto. This is going to be a beginner's guide to iPhoto, how to use it, and the tools and features that are involved within the application iPhoto. I will do other videos in more detail on certain features later on, but as of right now, I'm just going to give you a basic rundown of what iPhoto is. Now, iPhoto, as you see here, all of these are events that have pictures within them. So you can say that these are events and folders that have specific pictures uh, regarding a certain event or party or specific you know trip that I went on whatever it may be uh, these are events that you can click on and then once you're in the event you can now see the images within that specific event now once you are within an event you can actually go and select pictures individually and double click on them as I have done here and you can when you're in the photo editing process you can go down here to the edit option here which is the little pencil down in the bottom left hand corner by clicking on edit just like that and then once you've done that you will have a few options you can rotate the image which is over here on the far left I can rotate an image all the way around if I would like I can even crop the image so once you click on the crop tool down here at the bottom you can then take the crop tool and take the image to where you want it to be once you are done you can either hit apply right down here or hit the enter button once you've cropped it and have it the way you want it you can then straighten the image uh, by clicking this right here a uh, bunch of grid lines will come up so if you have an image that looks like it's a little off centered uh, you can actually drag the image around to get them centered with these yellow grid lines that iPhoto provides you with you can actually enhance an image by clicking on this little button here it's like a magic wand button when you click it it'll add some color and take away some of the fuzziness uh, some pictures it doesn't do anything others it actually makes a dramatic difference just depends on the image and how much work you have already done on the image now the next option you'll see here is a red eye image now when you click or a red eye tool click on the red eye tool and a circle will then appear now in this image here I don't have anyone with a specific red eye uh, this is not a portrait image but if I did I could just click on their eye with this circle tool with the eye centered within the circle and it would then remove that red within the eye so that's a great little tool there the retouch tool uh, will allow you to go through uh, with this circle uh, tool as well and just kind of paint over and it will allow you to erase blemishes it will allow you to kind of merge specific colors if there's something a little off so the retouch tool is, is fairly neat also one of the uh, neatest features about iPhoto is that you can click on the effects tool right down here in the middle right by the adjust panel and it will then open up an effects tab in which you can apply a number of effects to your images if you want the image to be black and white you can click on that if you want it to be sepia tone you can do that if you want it to be an antique look you can click that fade color original boost color you can even add a uh, you know border circle border around it and edge blur however you want to do it you can do that all within the effects panel there now if you want the uh, effects to be boosted up you can click on the right arrow if you want them to be taken down a little click on the left arrow so that's kind of a little bit about the effects panel within iPhoto so once you close out of that there's another option here in the far right hand panel of the toolbar it's called the adjust panel now what you can do within the adjust panel is a number of of things this is the more nitty-gritty uh, when it comes to pictures you can actually adjust the exposure of an image you can take the contrast down or up the saturation uh, you can take definition highlight shadows sharpness you can take away some of the noise and then the temperature and tint are at the bottom you can actually copy a preset if you make one here within the adjustment panel and then paste it to other images which is a really really neat feature you can do that by copying that and then pasting it on another image so I'm gonna go ahead and close out of that now uh, another thing that I want to show you is you can sort your images by photos and not uh, events so it'll show you every single photo you have and then you can go to events here and this shows you the folder of all the pictures that I have within iPhoto now there's a couple other options that are called faces and places uh, faces will allow you to tag specific people put their names there and then it'll allow you to have them uh, you know be able to click on that and then be able to show the specific person and then also I have not done this yet you have to be connected to the internet you can actually tag geotag your images to have them set and uh, for specific locations so if you went on a trip out to the west and went to Los Angeles say you can tag images with Los Angeles where you took 
them on your camera and it'll automatically have all the images taken there on that trip or in that location in one specific event or folder. Now, down here you'll see recent, you'll see my last 12 months of images, you'll see my last import, which was that subscribe button there for one of my YouTube videos, and then if I flagged any images, they will be here as well. You can take pictures like this one here and drag it to the trash can and that will now be in the trash. In order to empty the trash can, really all you need to do is select all of these and drag them to your trash can on your Mac. That's the easiest way of doing it. So guys, this has been just a brief rundown of the application iPhoto on some basic tools. Uh, and you know, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment box. If you also want to know how to import images within iPhoto, all you need to do is go up here to File, Import to Library, or just take an image on your desktop, drag it on top of the iPhoto icon down here in your dock, and the image will automatically load within iPhoto. If you have iPhoto set up to be your default photo manager, then when you plug in your digital camera or a SD card, the images will automatically load into iPhoto. So guys, don't forget to hit the little button in the top left-hand corner to subscribe to my channel for more great content. If this video helped you out, hit the thumbs up button and help me out. And guys, I will see you next time.